Yo, welcome everyone. Today, in today's video, I want to discuss with you the most efficient way how to level up your artifacts. Um, and I don't want to waste time, so we directly jump into the video. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a sub. Um, we're close to 10k. Let's go. Alright, so let's quickly go into uh, everything. So we have blue artifacts, purple and gold. As you can see here. Then we have two options. We have upgrade and we have enhance. For upgrading, let's talk about this later. First, let's go to enhance. So for enhancing, up to level 3, it's no problem. You need these brushes, right? Afterwards, for the purple and for the gold ones, for the purple ones, you need blue magical shops, or how they're called. And for the gold ones, you need purple magical shops. You, the only way to get the blue magical shops is, as you guys can see here, to upgrade, to enhance um, these blue ones to five, and then the, the rest of these shards will get automatically transferred to these magical shops, or how they're called. Um, and with these, you can then upgrade the purple ones, and it follows the same procedure after you upgrade the purple ones. Um, you can use the purple ones to upgrade these gold ones. Okay, now it is of course important uh, in which order you should go. And um, of course attack is the most valuable thing, so go with the attack stats. Um, so, so how we did it, we um, started with the gold ones. Of course if you're limited you always check, double check, right? But um, there are good attack ones, bad attack ones. Um, so you put everything to three stars, uh, because otherwise afterwards you need these. Additional shards um, and start off with the one with the highest attack and then go to the one with the lowest attack and then um, yeah, you use. I mean, here in this case, we used what we basically had. Alright, now you can see we basically did exactly, so after we put all the attack stats, so we left out the pure HP one, uh, we um, focused on the purple ones uh, and also only the attack ones to put them uh, on three stars. So the, the, the amount where you don't need these extra shards. All right, here we can make a little pause and wait till we finish. Um, maybe also let me know in the comments, what do you think, how much stats this increase? So let's quickly um, think about it. So he spent, um, let's say pure money would be uh, 5,000. If you take with discounts, it's maybe like 3,000. You might be surprised uh, about this one. But um, yeah, also for the purple one, just uh, to let you know, we only went for the attack one, we left the HP one um, just to do not waste any brushes because I think this is one of the resources. It is very, very limited also at some point because it costs a lot and it's... All right, now since we have done all the purple ones, of course, the next step would be if we want to enhance further to just look at um, the blue ones and pick one to upgrade to five stars so that we can get the extra shots. And of course, what we did is we checked out which one of those gave us the most shards out of this so that we will maybe know, okay, this will drop a lot in this uh, overall thing and so we, that we can get the most output, let's say. Uh, from the blue extra shards to upgrade a purple one. Okay, now in this case we saw, okay, this range attack was the best one with the most shards that we had. Uh, so we picked out these to use those blue extra marginal shops, to upgrade it to five stars to have as much as purple marginal shards 
um, I still don't know if this is the right word, <laughs> but I just call them like this, uh, for later on the gold ones. In this case, we didn't use the, uh, the purple ones yet because we want to use them for the expensive ones, which is the book, uh, which are, are those who give these two attack stats or the comp, uh, is it the compass where you get all the three attack stats. All right, now uh, let's say for Bevere's case, we're finished because we do, do not have any more brushes. Um, so let's jump over to the upgrades and I think you pretty much follow similar procedures. So um, you look for the gold ones, you check only the green, um, the green books and um, you start using the green ones on, uh, let's say, the, um, the gold attack stats. After you did, after you did that, um, you can potentially continue and check um, the purple ones and put all the green materials on the purple uh, pieces with the attack one. After you did that, you go back to the gold one and transfer everything to the blue grade and put all the attack stats with the blue grade to, to the next level. Uh, so use all, up all the blue one. Of course, if you're limited in books, you pick up those uh, stats that are give the most attack stats. So there are gold ones which give more attack stats than the other ones. Be careful about that. Um, I think this will be uh, quite important uh, as well. In Bevere's case, it didn't really matter, so we um, upgraded everything with attack stats on the blue scale. Of course, if you put less money, pick only those give the most attack. You always check, go on the on the loop, uh, uh, check. Uh, is it loop? No. And go on the the small thingy where you can check what does it give you, and then um, upgrade these uh, step by step. Um, of course, you can also what you can also could also potentially do is if you just want to focus on if you have even let's say less budget, you you focus on for example only care. Of course, you can do that as well. Uh, for previous case, if he eventually wants to be the like a mixed reality. I think this is the best way if you want to be uh, like let's say cave monster of course you just pick up the cave stats um, for that one but if you want to let's say have the most efficient way for mix here i think uh, this is pretty much uh, the way to go and after you did the blue ones you pretty much like it's a one take you pretty much follow the same procedure for the pokemon you, uh, I mean, here you should go slowly. I think I did some mistakes here, but in general, you use the where you where you need the, um, the 40 purple ones. Uh, you use it for the gold ones, uh, of course, again first, and then uh, like follow the same procedure. The one who gives the higher attack stats, you're gonna do first. Why you start with the gold ones? Because it, it costs the same for blue and purple. So you, so blue you can. Uh, le you, so this is important. Never ever upgrade the blue ones, the level. You don't need it. It's basically pointless. You can do this at the very, very end when you have everything max. You can use this HP and defense that is in the blue one and use it at the end. Like, who cares? I mean, at some point, maybe you do it, but uh, I think the most important one is attack as always. Um, uh, so, yeah. All right, now at the end we come to the step increase and just like look at this and it's incredible. Like, as I mentioned, about $5,000 pure money, discount maybe $3,000. Um, he got, uh, so you can calculate everything by yourself. I just mentioned all the tech ones. He got about over 50% info tech, um, about 43% I think range and uh, or, or calf and about 46% range attack. Like, let's say that's around about 150% for that money like co for compared to astrolite 
pretty sick. But I think overall it will cost a lot because you will run out of brushes, you will run out of books. And I think these two make the, the this thing the most expensive. Uh, books you need to keep in mind, you do not really need um, the blue ones, so you could skip that. Um, and also maybe I hope that you don't need all uh, to enhance all the blue ones. Maybe you need to do it. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this update. I think it's not as bad as Astralite. Uh, also, I, I, I showed the stats that we already got now uh, with this. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Till the next time. Bye.